Hi, have a nice day. I am your reader Olive and today I am going to discuss about the ongoing research on energy conservation which is electrified cement, so let begin. Energy storing building materials could make on-demand power from renewables affordable worldwide. Tesla's Powerwall, a boxy, wall-mounted, lithium-ion battery, can power your home for half a day or so. But what if your home was the battery? Researchers have come up with a new way to store electricity in cement, using cheap and abundant materials. If scaled up, the cement could hold enough energy in a home's concrete foundation to fulfill its daily power needs. Scaled up further, electrified roadways could power electric cars as they drive. And if scientists can find a way to do this all cheaply the advance might offer a nearly limitless capacity for storing energy from intermittent renewable sources, such as solar and wind. So far, the cement devices are small, only big enough to power a few LED light bulbs. But efforts are already underway to scale them up. It would be a very attractive technology if they can achieve that at a larger scale, says Sang Nguyen, a mechanical engineer at Imperial College London who was not involved with the work. The cement devices are a kind of simplified battery called supercapacitors. They consist of two electrically conductive plates separated by an ion conducting electrolyte and a thin membrane. As the device is charged, positively charged ions from the electrolyte accumulate on one plate, while negatively charged ions accumulate on the other. The amount of power storage depends on the total surface area of the supercapacitor's conductive plates. For decades, researchers have tried to incorporate them into structural materials, such as the concrete used in roads and buildings, or the carbon composites used in automotive and aircraft bodies. Unlike today's best batteries, supercapacitors typically use non-flammable electrolytes, making them safer. The problem is that cement, a primary ingredient in concrete, is normally a poor electrical conductor. So, in recent years, several groups have made structural supercapacitors by spiking cement with highly conductive forms of carbon, such as graphene or carbon nanotubes. Although these perform well, the ingredients are expensive and hard to produce in the massive volumes used in the cement industry, notes Franz Joseph Ulm, a civil engineer at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In search of a cheaper alternative, Franz Joseph Ulm and his colleagues turned to an age-old form of powdered carbon known as carbon black, which has been used since antiquity as a black pigment. Cheap and globally abundant, Carbon black is also highly conductive. Franz Joseph Ulm and his team mixed a small percent of carbon black with cement powder and added water. The water readily combines with the cement. But because the particles of carbon black repel water, they tend to clump together, forming long interconnected tendrils within the hardening cement that act like a network of wires. Franz Joseph Ulm and his colleagues cut this wired cement into small plates creating supercapacitors 1 mm thick and 1 cm wide, about the size of a button. After adding a membrane, an electrolyte made from potassium chloride, a simple salt, and water, the researchers sealed the sandwich structure. When they then connected a wire to the plates and flipped a switch, cement supercapacitors lit up a series of LED lights. If carbon black cement was used to make a 45 cubic meter volume of concrete, roughly the amount used in the foundation of a standard home, it could store 10 kilowatt hours of energy, enough to power an average household for a day, the team reports today in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. If the same approach were used to build roads, parking lots, or driveways, electrified concrete could store renewable power and deliver it to electric cars via inductive chargers. One approach might be sending electricity to the underbellies of cars via copper coils embedded in the roadway, a bit like how wireless chargers charge smartphones. Such technology is already being developed in Germany and the Netherlands. The first worldwide collaborative innovation project for zero-emission mobility of people and goods on the road to carbon neutrality. Roads with built-in inductive charging accelerate electric mobility. The project was carried out on the circuit a testing ground for electric vehicle dynamic induction charging technology built by Stellantis, an international Italian-French-American automotive company with headquarters in the Netherlands. Let's have a look at the technology that lies behind inductive charging and delve deeper into the arena of the future project. Inductive charging is a type of wireless power transfer. 
It is also known as wireless charging or cordless charging. This technology uses electromagnetic induction to deliver electricity to a device. The device doesn't have to be perfectly aligned or make electrical contact with a dock or plug. An induction coil in the charging station or pad is first subjected to alternating current. Because the amplitude of the electric current varies, the magnetic field produced by the moving electric charge also changes in strength. As a result, the device's induction coil generates an alternating electric current. Finally, a battery is charged, or operating power is provided by direct current. Inductive charging in electric vehicles. Wireless electric vehicle charging behaves similarly to induction charging for smartphones, which commonly use the Qi wireless charging standard. A coil receives an electrical current, which creates an electromagnetic field that interacts with an adjacent second coil to produce an equivalent electric current. This current charges the battery of the vehicle. The automobile sector is now looking at two uses for this scientific idea. These include a wireless charging infrastructure integrated into highways and pad-based wireless charging. The construction and technical implementation of the Arena of the Future, a 1,050-meter-long circuit, powered by 1 megawatt of electricity, have been completed successfully. As of right now, Arena of the Future, is ready for EV field testing to verify the viability of the novel technology. The team of expert technicians are using the dynamic wireless power transfer system, which is proving to be the most effective in giving immediate answers to the needs of decarbonization and environmental sustainability in the mobility sector. The inductive charging technology is one of the potential tangible solutions toward the goals stated in the publication, Decarbonizing Transportation, Scientific Evidence and Policy Proposals, which was recently presented by the experts involved by Ministry of Sustainable Infrastructure and Mobility within the scope of the Structure for the Green Transition of Mobility and Infrastructure, in light of the current discussion in the European Council of the Fit for 55 package, presented by the European Commission in the implementation of the Green Deal strategy. How does dynamic wireless power transfer work? This technology allows electric vehicles to recharge themselves thanks to an innovative system of coils placed under the road surface to create a circuit that is slightly more than 1 km long. They have a 1000 kW total power output from direct current and deliver power directly to cars, trucks, and buses without the need for them to stop at stations to recharge the battery. The technology can be adapted to all vehicles equipped with a special receiver that can transfer energy from the road infrastructure directly to the electric motor, extending the range and safeguarding the electric vehicle's battery charge. I hope you liked the article, thanks for watching, please watch, subscribe and comments, stay connected for more.